hi guys my name is grandy thank you so much for clicking on this video it literally means the world to me today's video is a weekly vlog woo, woo. <laughs> so i'm gonna show you guys what we get up to this week let's have a good time good vibes i'm gonna show y'all all about this look that i'm currently sporting it's a look right it's a look <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys see you in the vlog hey guys Hey guys, so today I'm excited because we are going to get our nails done. Mm -mm. Guys, I'm honestly just so excited. You don't even know. Like, it's so it's been about a month. And as you can see, the girls need help. Sis is overgrown. Um, the middle finger is even missing. Sis in the middle just tapped out completely. The rest of the girls are holding on, you know, they're holding on by a thread. It's literally been a month exactly since I last got them done. So I'm so excited. So I've really been loving the whole like clear base design so I wanted to keep that going because I think that even though these have literally been on there for a month they still look somewhat decent from far because of the clear base so I definitely want to keep doing that so I'm still going back and forth between these two styles so cute right so pause the video right now and comment down below which one you think I should get I'm so excited guys it's crazy how excited I am. I can't believe I didn't used to be a nail person. Oh my gosh, what was I doing? But to be honest, I'm quite frugal. So that is why, you know, I didn't want to spend on nails, but now this is making, you know, somewhat of a decent income. I can treat myself, you know, it's the little things in life that you have to treat yourself. So yeah, I'm excited, let's go. so it's actually been about a week since i got my nails done but i'm realizing i didn't actually show you how they looked and this is how they're looking guys i'm obsessed with them so like i said it's been about a week so they've slightly started to grow but nothing crazy so you guys can still see how they're looking and i just think they're so pretty it literally looks pretty identical to the pinterest picture and i love them so shout out my nail text just came through for your girl she came hi guys good morning today's exciting because we just got our new sofa delivered Woo! guys i don't know if you know this but our old sofa was so uncomfortable it's right over there it's still in the room i just quickly had to move it out of the way for when the sofa people came but I'm so happy because that thing, guys, was giving us serious backache as if we were like 93 year old women. Like every time me and Grats would sit down, we'd be like, oh my gosh, we could actually feel the back pain and it was crazy. So we had to get a new one. Our landlords did not want to give us a new sofa. So we had to cash out the dollar um, and get a new one, but it's totally worth it. So this is how it's looking. It's really big. It's a gray corner sofa. Hey guys, so it's a couple of days later. Um, I've now um, like unpacked half of the sofa, but I still need to do the rest. It's a little bit confusing, but we'll get it sorted. Guys, as you can see now, it's out of the plastic, but I just have no idea how to actually arrange it, how it's supposed to be. So I'm going to go on where we bought it from. Okay, so I'm going to put a picture on the screen of how it's supposed to look. Guys, it's so confusing. So guys, I think they delivered us the wrong sofa because I don't get what is going on. Like, I don't get it. I just don't get it. Okay, I think I have an idea. Okay guys, it's making sense now. Okay guys, this actually makes perfect sense because there's also this bit, like, can you see that this bit is gray? But then these two parts are actually black. And I think I have to hook these two together. Yay, I've cracked the code. I did it. They're interlinked now. Well, hey, guys, this is just a testament to whatever you want to achieve. Just put your mind to it, and you can do it. <laughs> guys, it's not complete. I'm so happy. This is our brand new sofa. First time taking a seat. <sighs> 
actually comfy and it's actually massive oh my gosh look it's actually perfect if someone wants to sleep over here they really can it's like a full-on bed wow so this is a little close-up of the sofa i think we need to get some you know pillows and throws but i'm happy with it it's just it's comfortable um our old one is still present <laughs> Uh, but we need the landlords to come and pick it up and get it the heck out of here because that thing was breaking my back but i'm so happy to the back of it hello beautiful people today we have the wig braids out my mommy i went home for a couple of days so it's really nice seeing my mom and she did my hair for me uh i think it looks so nice yeah guys um you people who know how to do your own corners like props props to you guys because i mean i know how to do my own ones but they don't come out like this they come out like on day one they come out like i've already had them in for a month <laughs> so they always just look so ghetto and obviously i just keep them under a wig but whenever my mom does my ken rolls i always like want to shoot content with it to like spice up my feet spice up my gram and i just think i look cute with it i just think i look cute yeah <laughs> so currently I'm just shooting some sponsored posts with River Island, you know, I'm just giving you guys loungewear, homewear vibes and I just thought, you know, the candles would be a nice little addition. I'm just going to make myself a coffee as a little prop, you know, and then we're going to get this show on the road. Grats is not around today, so I'm shooting mirror content. I actually really like how I did my edges as well. Ooh, 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 look at those edges, hunty. Guys, yesterday was Valentine's Day and it was really, really lovely. My babes, he really went all out. And um, basically, the funny thing is he was actually pranking me. So he, <laughs> so he pranked me saying, oh yeah, I'm not on it this year. I can't bother to do anything. And I was like, excuse me i must have brought it up like a week before valentine's day you know valentine's day i was starting to hear it more people were talking about it more in the streets and i was like oh yeah babe what are we doing for valentine's day and he was like mm, yeah nothing i'm not really on it this year and i was like sorry wait <laughs> i mean i didn't act like super annoyed i was just kind of like um what do you mean in the past you've always done something so why this time why is it different and then he was like yeah i'm just not on it like i'm just not in the mood so like obviously we can hang out but probably watch a movie or something you know but and he was like this is what he said guys he was like but yeah i don't want to hang out because it's valentine's day we can just obviously just hang out in general and just watch a movie and chill or something and i was like And obviously I didn't get really angry because it's like, I can't get angry and say to somebody, you must spend Valentine's with me and you must make it a special day. Do you know what I mean? Because it's like a, a holiday where you're supposed to both enjoy it if you're in a couple. It's not a day where like, you have to pressurize someone. It's kind of like if it's someone's birthday and then they don't want to do anything and then you're like, no, you have to do something like you have to do you know what I mean you can't get mad so i was just trying to act all normal calm collected and i was like okay like if you really don't want to do anything it'll be fine but he knew i was angry <laughs> he knew <laughs> you know those ones girls and they're like oh are you okay and then you're like yeah i'm fine and you know you're not fine they know you're not fine but they just carry on that's what was happening um is it super bright yeah let's do this yeah but that's what was happening um my nose looks so red i think i did overdid it the, with the blush but oops yes yeah, so the days were approaching you know valentine's day people were asking me all my friends were asking me oh yeah so what are you guys doing and i was like nothing absolutely nothing and i was getting very upset i think <laughs> i think when he first dropped the bomb that we're not doing anything i was like you know what it's fine i'm easy going anyway like it's not that deep but then as time was going and more people were asking me what are you doing and people started telling me their plans they were getting surprised and all this stuff i started getting more upset like wait do, do, am i not rated like am i does this guy not have any respect for me 
<laughs> that's what i was like low-key thinking in my head anyway yeah time was going on i was getting more and more upset even the day before i called him and i was like oh yeah so you know we're still on for tomorrow you know chilling watching movie and he was like oh crap yeah i even forgot uh yeah what time yeah six should be good so he was even acting as if he even forgot the funny thing is though every time i told my friends and i was like i can't believe he's doing this to me <laughs> they were like grandy he's obviously pranking you like come on like you know how he is da, 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 da. and i was like i was like guys yes i get it this is what he does like sometimes he pranks me but the way he's acting is very very convincing and i also didn't want to get my hopes up and then have my hopes crushed to the ground do you, do you guys get what i'm trying to say because imagine i was like thinking oh he's obviously pranking me and then i go there then there's no prank like we're, there's just a movie that's all we're doing like i would look like an idiot and i would be even more upset in myself so i was like yeah guys like literally all my friends shout out all the real ones out there who believed in him they were literally all like oh come on grands he's obviously gonna do something come on so yeah on the day i showed up this was yesterday and you know thinking that i was just gonna watch a movie and there was literally like a candle lit dinner and he'd cooked like a three course meal he blew up so many balloons <laughs> He blew up so many balloons, he lit up candles, he decorated, he did the most for your girl, he did the most, so he's, he's, a, he's a good egg, I, sh I should have never, if you're watching this, I should have never doubted you, I'm so sorry, please forgive me, okay, um, but yeah, I'll just maybe insert a clip or two, but no, you guys, it was just so sweet, and I just felt very appreciated and very loved, so that was just beautiful, you know, also, I did do something for him as well, so, I just did like a little um, box because he loves sweets. He's obsessed with sweets. And it's so funny because I'm not a sweets person. I am a chocolate person. So like if you give me like a packet, of, a big packet of sweets, if you come to my house like two weeks later, maybe I would have eaten one. Like the sweets would still be there. But if you give me like a bar of chocolate, like Galaxy, it'll be gone, right? But with him, if you give him a big packet of sweets, it will be gone within about 15 seconds maximum. Like this guy, this guy, he just loves sweets. He's a grown man, but he loves sweets. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just literally did like a box um, filled up with sweets. Um, but he also loves skincare. He's really good with like skincare, hair care, like beard care. He's really good at that kind of stuff. And it's so funny because I'm also the opposite of that. Like guys i barely have a skincare routine but recently as of late you know we've been getting better we've been getting we've been growing up so i've been you know developing a skincare routine and i've actually been seeing the benefits but he's always had like a five six step skincare routine like he has his aloe vera gel he has his exfoliators all of that stuff and uh, yeah so i just got this little box and i like filled up with loads of sweets and i also filled up with like skincare stuff beard oil that kind of stuff and just bought him a nice card so i gave him that and that was really sweet he oh my god when he opened it he was so glad because <laughs> obviously it was really like it was like a small little cute thing but he was like so excited because he loves sweets so at least you know he was he's easy you know because i just wanted something like small like for example if if you would give me flowers i would be so happy with it and it's just like flowers so for him i was like i can't give him flowers what can i give him so i just thought okay this is a nice idea so yeah if you guys want to take that as an idea in the future like if let's say someone's birthday is coming up or something and you're just like oh like i don't really want to do something massive but just something small that they will really like i think that's a really cute idea if they're, like, if they're like a sweets person or a chocolates person or a tea person or maybe you could fill it up with that and then maybe something else so that was my little valentine's day recap shout out my means for making it super special making me feel super happy and warm inside i was three years in and he's still doing the most so so yeah guys get you a freddy but not actually him get you somebody else let's move on <laughs> So the first piece of content is done. Now we're on to the second piece, which is our last piece that we're shooting. So now I have this like top and cardigan set to promote. It's very, very cute. How I want to do this post is, recently I saw this post on my Instagram and I was like, oh my gosh, she looks incredible. I have to recreate that. So then when I wore this, I was like, wow, this look 
will go perfectly with this vibe that i saw on instagram so this is the picture that i saw on instagram and i was like oh my gosh it looks amazing so that's what i'm gonna try and recreate for this look so i have my headband i have the wig so i'm just gonna transform into that right now so yeah i think it was done by v's touch shout out her for creating this amazing look And we are back, honeys. As you can see, we're transported to the 1960s and I'm obsessed with how this look turned out. So now we need to get some pictures. Grass is here so she can get some pics of me. But yeah, I absolutely love this look. If you guys wanna see a little get ready with me maybe and how I did this, then let me know. So this is the full look, guys. Um, I've just taken some pics of Grass and I'm so happy with them. Look, you don't wanna take it off now. I just feel like, a really cute housewife that's about to cook a full course meal for my for my man who so just came back from work <laughs> yes, i'll probably insert the pictures on the screen because i think these are my favorite pictures that i've taken in a while so i'm super excited so now it's almost four o'clock so i'm pretty happy i've been pretty productive but what i need to do now is actually edit some other pictures that i need to go onto instagram today um it usually takes me about 30 minutes to an hour depending on the picture and the lighting and all that because if the lighting isn't great then it will take me longer to fix up the pic but if it's like great then i won't have much to do and in these pictures i don't think they have much to do so i'm excited actually to put these up because i really love them so yeah now i'm gonna edit um, guys it's friday it's friday so i said i'm working for my pajamas today and i'm feeling good i'm feeling fresh um so i wanted to give you guys an update for the sofa situation you can see it in the back look how cute it is ah, i'm just so excited to not have a sofa that is going to hurt our backs yeah people came today to get rid of that green sofa that was there but i'm so happy because our living room is now normal we don't have two sofas here oh you can see Gretz's flowers that she got for valentine's day right there which is so cute we still have a few things that we want to change for example we want to change this table and this one also we really want them to be a bit more modern a bit more like aesthetic <laughs> so yeah we want to get that but me and my sister can be very indecisive when it comes to furniture guys those of you out there who are really good at like interior design i really just rate you guys so highly because i'm so terrible at it like i think i don't know if you guys saw in my moving vlog i would buy stuff and put it in my room i'd be like this looks disgusting like, why did i want to buy this <laughs> so if there's any interior designers out there that want to give us some inspo on what tables we need that will be great but i think we want to get some really like modern more like dark ones um i don't know if you guys know who annie dreyer is she's an amazing like blogger influencer and she's got this really gorgeous like table so me and Gats looked at that and thought oh yeah something like that would be really really nice um so yeah this is gonna be just me chilling on the sofa mainly today and editing and doing some work yeah guys today's vlog will actually be a lot shorter than normal just because i actually took a few days off this week it was really nice just chilled it was my man's birthday so we were celebrating his birthday so i took a few days off and that was so lovely and needed we went to the seaside that was so much fun so, so i didn't vlog the trip at all but i did take some cute little clips so i'll insert those right now Name three flavors of crisps. I'm um, really sorted. So it's been the draw. She's an onion. Oh, yes. Name three board games. Scrabble, Five Second Rule, Cluedo, or Dominoes. Yeah, you're good. Lovely. Period, I gave you more options. I gave you more options. Okay. Um, name three football stages. Emirates Stadium, Wolves Stadium, Birmingham City, Aston Villa Stadium. Period! Period! What's the Wolves Stadium? One is Molyneux. Molyneux. <laughs> no, I said three though. I said Birmingham City and then I said Birmingham. Birmingham City is St. Andrews. 
Mercy. What was the other one? She said Emirates. 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 Yeah, Emirates is right. Yeah, Manchester yeah. Stadium. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, wow. that's dead. Oh, my God. She got and enjoyed. She stood up. And ch- <laughs> ah, <laughs> oh, dad. <laughs> I'm very barraged, but with me. So yeah, it was fun. We had a really good time. Guys, right, something that I wanted to recommend on Netflix is Behind Her Eyes. Um, I've just liked to watch this and so far, so good. Have any of you guys seen it? If you have, let me know how you found it in the comments. Of course, no spoilers. I don't want to know. <laughs> um, also, something else that I've been loving on Amazon Prime is Million Dollar Listing. Guys, I love all these property shows that just show me these beautiful houses. Oh my gosh. I just watch them thinking, oh my gosh, I need to work hard so I can live in these places. Um, I've been watching from like season 10 because there's so many seasons, but I watched 10, 11, 12. I finished that in like a week <laughs> um also i love dream home makeover oh my gosh that show is unreal you just see um the mcgees they're basically like an interior design company and they like do like beautiful transformations those are my top um recommendations for the week let me know in the comments guys if you guys are enjoying any shows because i need more shows to watch so let me know what you guys have been liking and we can share so yeah guys that pretty much brings us to the end of this week's vlog i um, hope you guys enjoyed it feel free to comment down below any other videos that you guys would like me to do because i love hearing you guys suggestions and i always take them on board so I hope you're having a lovely day and i hope you enjoy the rest of your week so yeah guys like this video comment down below anything that you liked about this video that would be lovely so yeah guys thank you so so much for watching this video i really really appreciate you bye for now Mwah.